Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove and replace a really old and rotten fence and replace it with a brand new and modern one. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end so you won't miss out on any details of how you can do this. If you want to learn how to do all kinds of handyman and DIY projects, including home renovations, then you're in the best place here on YouTube. Consider subscribing to our channel and activate the notification bell so that way you won't miss out on any videos that I'm going to be uploading every single week. This old fence that we are removing and replacing, it's approximately three or four feet tall and we just got done with removing most of it. We just have a few more posts that need to be taken out. This one over here, it's currently attached to the neighbor's post by one of the brackets that you see right there. And then also on the other side of the post, on the neighbor's side, we noticed there was some two large screws that attached both of the posts together. So I'll show you here in a little bit how you can take that out. You definitely wanna be careful. If we began to pry this out and pull it away, we could have possibly damaged the neighbor's post. So you just wanna kinda keep an eye out for those things. Those are the two long screws. We're gonna pull those out. And I think in the end, we're gonna reuse those. If not, we have some other ones that we can replace them with. But there was two long screws. Once we took those out, we can easily remove that post. Then over here, we're digging for the new post and the other ones, we're just prying them out at the base. These are attached to some railroad ties at the bottom. And like you saw in the beginning, this previous fence was already like deteriorating and it had like mold and it was actually rotted out in certain areas. So that what, that's what prompted the homeowner to contact us and just redo this fence and the nice thing about this project is we're actually going to be replacing it with a brand new one and a different style that's more modern over here on the corner next to the walkway we had to dig a 12 inch deep trench or a hole where we're going to put in a brand new post and in the other areas we're going to be attaching the brackets so here i am mixing the concrete i'm using a fast setting concrete because we're planning to complete this project the same day and we want this concrete to dry and harden really fast. So this post, it's what's going to give a lot of the strength and stability to the rest of the fence. And it definitely helped out. A little bit later, we kind of wiggled the fence a little bit and it gave it quite a bit of strength. So we already attached three of the posts. We just got the last one over there that is next to the neighbors and in between we're going to be putting in those one by six panels of like fencing material so here we are we just cut this other one we basically just cut it at the same height as the other ones so when we put the top plate on the fence it will match and be level then at the bottom we're putting some four inch long screws and attaching the base or that metal plate to the railroad tie then after that we're going to be putting this 4x4 pressure treated post right on top of it and we're going to be attaching it with some screws on either side and that's how you attach it then we're going to put in the two screws that were there before at the beginning so we can make sure it's like secured with the neighbor's post and his side but that's how you attach them at the bottom you may have concrete or some other kind of material in our case we had a wooden base so you just gotta use the proper plates and brackets to make sure that it's attached properly then this one by six panels these were quite expensive i think each one was about twenty dollars a piece and the reason why they're so expensive is because they're like the better quality ones and they're also ha they, ha they have like a smooth finish so the homeowner chose these ones because we're actually going to stain this fence as well and he wanted it to have like a nice smooth texture and finish so here we are attaching the very top fence panel before it used to be in vertical position but now we the homeowner decided to have them horizontally 
So we're just attaching them on the 4x4 posts from one end to the other. And in between each one of these fence panels, we have a 3 quarter inch gap. That was the what the homeowner requested. He wanted us to leave like a 3 quarter inch gap. We actually made like a little set like a little square that helped us as a guide and we just put it in between each of the panels and then from there we can just screw them onto the 4x4 posts and that's how we get it done really fast and efficient so like you see right here we started right at the very edge of the post and then we continue that way we're checking the level on each one of the fence panels once we have everything ready then we just screw them on to each one of the 4x4 posts then over here we're doing the same thing we started at the top and we're using our guides to make sure the gap is the same throughout the entire fence and we just secure it onto the post and that's pretty much it then after that i'm just applying a stain this was from the bear premium from the home depot store the you know we got this stain it's like a gray color and it actually turned out really nice part of the trim of the house was like a dark gray color so we noticed that this fence stain choice it matched the color of the of the trim of the house and uh, so once I finish staining this side I'm gonna do the rest and also on the other side we just put the top plates there with the just two by fours and all everything is gonna be stained so it's all gonna be sealed and secure so this will, this is gonna last for many years to come that's pretty much the results right here. After we installed the fence section, we kind of had like an L-shaped and it stopped right here where the previous one did. We attached it to the post just like the other one. We have brand new brackets at the bottom. You have the top plate there, the two by four on the top. And uh, we put a two by four next to this four by four post so we can attach these long sections of, uh, I think they're 10 feet long uh, fence panels with four screws each or on this like less narrow area we have two screws each but that's how you secure everything and make sure that you obtain some amazing results this is a brand new modern wooden fence and the homeowner he was super happy with this results it definitely transformed the look and especially since this is in the front of the house you you want to keep this in mind for the curb appeal you know a lot of people it's worth to spend a little bit more money on the front of your house because that's what a lot of people are going to look at and also for resale value any future clients or potential buyers they're going to really appreciate this and offer you a lot more money so in the end it's going to make you more cash and it's going to be a really good investment so this is how everything looks like on different angles after we installed all this fence we did this in one day no problem and that that includes the staining and everything the cleanup so i hope you like this video please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and activate the notification bell so that way you won't miss out on any videos that i'll be uploading every single week in the description below i'm going to be leaving several links with tools and materials that we recommend for doing this kind of project thanks for watching may god bless you and i'll see you on the next project